um, 9.30 in the morning, and I got woken up because actually the pain management clinic have an appointment for next week called and said that there is an appointment available today at 3.30. Um, um, I, I didn't take it because I need to go to the infusion. I was really surprised that they have enough availability, but I think there's a, a like a decent amount of doctors in the practice, and that's why. Um, so yeah, I have an appointment at 1.30, and that is all I am doing today. So I tried really hard to go outside. I've been waiting for this warm weather you know, since, like, September when it started getting cooler. Um, my pots just wasn't happening. I tried, I wanted to wash um, our car, and it just was not happening. So, I'm back inside. That's my update. It's almost about 11, so... So I don't know if I said this earlier, but um, I received a call from um, the pain management clinic that I made an appointment with actually yesterday for next week, which was shocking um, that they did it that early. Um, and she actually, the receptionist said that um, if I wanted to come in at 3.30 today, that I could. And um, I said no because of my infusion, but... Um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna leave uh, in a, like 45 minutes. I'm on YouTube and um, kind of working on some designs. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, I was just looking him up and he actually is the director of pain management, which is hopefully gonna be a really, really good thing. So, I'm, I'm pretty okay with everything going on. I decided to get um, a coffee um, from Dunkin' Donuts because they're only two dollars. Um, so yeah, I'm in the car and head east on New York 27 East towards Sattery Avenue. Then turn left onto Sattery Avenue. Um, I'm driving to my infusion and I brought my laptop um, because these infusions tend to run like three hours. Um, so yeah, I just would uh rather have something to do but anyway i will keep you guys updated with how the day goes so quick update even though it's been like less than 30 seconds um i took my heart rate and sitting down in the car with the air conditioner blasting my heart rate's still 112 so that's pretty not good that's pretty high especially for sitting it shouldn't be that high for sitting um, but the hot weather is just like absolutely awful. And I've had like heat intolerance and exercise intolerance like as far back as I can remember. But I thought that I was just like lazy or my muscles weren't toned enough or, you know, I, I thought that that there was something not wrong with my health but wrong with me, if that makes sense. So I... Uh, I've been dealing with POTS for years, but I thought that the issues I was having were normal. I mean, and I didn't realize that my, you know, I had blood pooling until Adrian told me. Um, I had gotten out of the shower and he said it looked like somebody had beat up my legs. Um, I didn't realize that that was blood pooling, but anyway, I will maybe talk about POTS a little bit more today later, um, but I will see you guys at my infusion.
and everything went okay. And uh, we were we were uh, talking about um, cause she was like, oh, well, you know, look at my schedule next week, and like. I, I just, I looked at what she had, and the only available appointment she had was Thursday at, uh, um, yeah, next Thursday, basically, is when the next appointment, um, is, so I, I scheduled it, but it's like, they can only get me in for, you know, they can't get me in very much, because there are people that have to have, you know, like Remicade or chemo, whatever, and it's only a three-person clinic, so there's, like, not that much room, and there wasn't room for somebody earlier, and I was like, just seriously, just throw me in a room, it's not, it's not a big deal, I don't care, uh, so there was only one appointment available next week, and it's Thursday, so I'm not getting another infusion for another week, um, I, she then was like, oh, well, have you heard anything about having home health? And my insurance denied it, uh, since I'm not completely incapacitated. And so she was like, oh, well, it's a neurologist you're seeing for POTS? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, um, is there an infusion, infusion center you can go to for him? And I was like, he's in, he's in the city in Columbia, and, like, I can't, I don't have, uh, I can't do that, uh, and I need to play around with the amount of fluids I'm getting, and what's going to work best for me, and what's gonna make me actually feel okay, and, I just, I want this to be so much easier than it is, and why I feel so defeated is just because, like, it's just that not any, like, nothing's working out, and, like, I, you know, when I quit, we're really trying to get, uh, we're really trying to get just a handle on my health, because the entire time I've been sick, I haven't stopped being something full-time. So, we're really kind of trying to sit and, you know, work through uh, all of my problems to try to get a better treatment solution for everything, and it's just, like, not happening, and my GI, I thought that I was going to be prescribed medication for my POTS, um, and my GI just told the infusion nurse that I, uh, like, it's not safe for me to be on anything, so I'm just not going to be prescribed anything, and it's starting to get hot out, and I'm going to need fluids more, but, like, I don't have access to it, and... Like, I, I drink so much freaking water, and it just doesn't stay. It doesn't stay in my body. It just, like, I... My blood volume's too low, and I, like, don't feel well, and it's gonna just get worse because the summer is coming, and it's just, just so much going on. And I felt bad because, like, I don't... I haven't cried in front of, like, the infusion nurse, and I haven't cried in front of any of the staff, really. And, like... I talked to her and she was actually really sweet today and gave me a hug and like felt she felt really bad that all of this stuff is going on at once and um and then when I was leaving one of the receptionists there too also gave me a, a hug I just don't like guys I just don't want to be sick anymore <laughs> I'm gonna try to drive home um, and maybe I can just calm down by focusing on driving, so I'll talk to you guys, um, maybe in a, a few hours or so.
Hey guys, so it is 8.30, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I got home like an hour-ish ago. It took me an hour to get home from Adrian's, um, and he lives closer to my doctor's than I do, and from his house, it, it which is usually 25, 30 minutes. It took me an hour to get home, so it was kind of like, ugh. But I have more time to process everything, and um, I, when I went to Adrian's house, I spent time with him and his brother Steven and his girlfriend Delia, and um, they're very important to me. So it was it really helped me to um, spend time with them and relax. Um, and yeah, I uh, I was able to process everything a little bit more um, from what I've heard. Um, from and what I've it's not even heard what I've spoken to other people about is that for whatever reason GIs tend to be very against um, Central lines unless somebody has you know, like cancer requires TPN which is being fed everything through um, Through your veins pretty much through IV access um, and TPN requires 24-hour um um, access. So what people have said is that GIs are weird about central lines and if I get myself into an infusion clinic or I see a hematologist that they're actually really um, okay with sending me to have a port implanted um, and especially if I'm using it, um, an IV two to three times a week. Um, you know, being able to access and de-access my port would be a good thing to do instead of damaging my only two good veins. Um, I went for like a one time around with my mom. Um, I want to get um, one design done tonight um, for my Etsy stuff. Um, and I want to pick up my room. And that's it. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, I feel a lot better than I did earlier, and um, I'm happy that I, I've i been able to relax a lot easier recently. Um, so that's about it. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to starting to make headway um, with my Etsy stuff because I was so uninspired for such a long time. And then I probably will do my nails because they're chipping really bad. So, But yeah, that's it. Just want to give you guys a little quick update. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Two things really quick. One thing to be grateful for. Sounds a little bit ridiculous, but at my infusion center, um, they only really use 250 milliliter bags, which are really small. And so the nurse would have to put four on just for me to get a liter. And today she came walking in with the liter bag and I was like, yes, <laughs> hell yeah. So I got the one bag. I didn't have to worry about like, okay, is this three of four? Is this four of four? Um, so that's a big deal. And then I've been talking about doing this for weeks and um, I actually am going through um, my room and trying to get rid of crap I don't need because if I ever plan on moving out of my house I uh, I'm going to not need as much stuff so that is what I am doing tonight which I'm very proud about I'm proud of myself for so it's midnight and I'm trying to take care of this <sighs> But we are looking up conspiracy theories, and Avril Lavigne is dead. Apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am going to end the vlog just so I can upload the vlog and try to do the rest of this. So thank you guys for watching, and have a great rest of your day.